Alright, have you ever wondered how Japanese people type on a keyboard? I'll show you. They use a regular keyboard just like we use with, you know, the American alphabet or English alphabet. Let me switch to Japanese and hiragana and I will show you. Let me go to Google Translate. Uh, let's see. Nihon go and eko. Okay. <clears throat> this means Japanese. Nihon go means Japanese language, and ego means English language. Okay. Let me switch back to direct input. And see, I can type, you know, a, e, u, e, o, right, which are the vowels of Japanese. And if we switch back into hiragana, a, e, u, e, o, now it writes it in the correct uh, hiragana. So, let us learn how to write a sentence. Every sentence you ever learn in Japanese, for the most part, should be this phrase. Kore wa. And then we have to switch alphabets to katakana, because this is a foreign item. And for foreign uh, objects and foreign things, you s use... Uh, Katakana. So, pen. A pen. And then you switch back to hiragana. This. This is a pen. Period. This is a pen. Kore wa. And then hiragana. Or katakana. Pen. And then back to hiragana. This. This is a pin. And if you want to say, for instance, it's a blue pin, kore wa, this is aoi. Aoi. Blue. Kore wa, this is aoi. Blue. Pin in katakana. So it's a foreign thing, and it is a pin. And then this, like, it's a state of being. This is. It's, it's reaffirming that that's what it is, basically. Okay. Now let's uh, write some dirty words, because who doesn't like cursing in a foreign language? <laughs> okay. Uh, if you know anime a lot, you, you hear the phrase, Kuso! Or kuso. So ku. Oh, ku. And then so. Yeah, you hear the phrase kuso a lot. Kuso can mean fuck, but it also can mean shit. And see, how I'm doing that is kuso. This is the um, hiragana. And then if I press tab, see it says tab. If I press tab, it will change to kanji, which changes the meaning. And then if I want, I can just es press escape and go back. Um, what about opai? Oh, Everybody loves opai, oh, right? Okay. Um. And Japanese doesn't have, I mean, you, you can say shine, which is die. That's a pretty bad thing that you can say. Japanese really doesn't have very much bad words that you can say. Um, oh, if you, oh, if you like hentai, then you might know this one. Manko. And it's not going to translate it, because that is slang, but if you type that into the search bar, 
Okay, see, there you go. Bad word. Bad, bad word. And then, what? Iku. Which, again, it's not going to tra translate. But if we do that, uh, I'll translate. Uh, do, 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 do. You're probably not gonna get it. It's it's supposed to be orgasm. But yes, whatever, whatever. <laughs> 